So in the last video, we discovered the following facts. We already knew that 3 times 2 was 6. We discovered that 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times positive 2 is also negative 6. And then, perhaps surprisingly, that negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Wow, that last one's a little bit surprising, right? What rule have we discovered? Well, the rules for multiplication turn out to be really simple. If we multiply two numbers with the same sign, the result is positive. Same sign, I mean both positive or both negative. If we multiply two numbers with opposite signs, the result is negative. Other than that, we just multiply the absolute values. Okay, so those are the rules for multiplication. What are the rules going to be for division? Hmm, that's a good question. It turns out that the rules for division are the same as the rules for multiplication. Now why would that be? It turns out that that happens because multiplication and division are really just two sides of the same thing. But in order to rewrite division as multiplication, we need to know the multiplicative inverse. So there's just one question left. Is the multiplicative inverse of a negative number still negative? Well, yes, yes it is. How can I know for sure? Well, remember, we said that the multiplicative inverse is a number so that when we multiply a number by its multiplicative inverse, we get 1. And that 1 is a positive 1. And since a number times its multiplicative inverse is positive, they must have the same sign. What does that mean? Let's say I wanted to take negative 20 divided by negative 5. I could take negative 20 times, what's the multiplicative inverse of negative 5? It's negative 1 fifth. That's going to be positive 20 over 1 times 1 over 5, right? Positive, multiply the absolute values, and so that's just 20 over 5, which is 4. This is figuring this out by actually rewriting as multiplication. But now that we know that division follows the same rules, we could just say negative 20 divided by 5 is positive. Divide the absolute values. 20 divided by 5 is 4. How should you approach division? Whichever way you prefer.